What's up guys, my name is Jake with Exploit Academy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly download and install the Parrot operating system inside of VirtualBox. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to have to do, if you have not done it already, is of course download and install the VirtualBox application. So to do that, you need to go over to virtualbox.org. Go to downloads and just select whichever operating system you have so for me i was on windows 10 when i downloaded it so of course select windows if you're on mac select os x and of course if you're on linux select linux okay so i already have it installed but um it's pretty easy to install i mean just click next all the way through it takes like two minutes once you have it installed you need to also install the virtualbox extension pack otherwise it won't run so make sure you go to all supported platforms here, click that and install that and run it. Now, make sure that you have VirtualBox installed before installing the extension pack, otherwise it just won't work. So once you have that done, you need to download Parrot OS. So type in Parrot OS into Google. Go here to parrotlinux.org, download, and make sure you select the security edition, which is the pen test edition. And since we're gonna download into VirtualBox, we need the Virtual Appliance Edition, okay? So you download that and just wait for that to download. All right, so before moving forward, you should have VirtualBox downloaded and installed. You should have the VirtualBox extension pack downloaded and installed, and you should have the Parrot operating system downloaded, okay? So moving forward, open up VirtualBox, click on File, import appliance click on this folder with the green arrow and browse to where you downloaded parrot so right here i have parrot security dot ova make sure what you're importing is dot ova otherwise it won't work if you have one that says like dot iso you probably downloaded the wrong version so make sure it says dot ova and click open click next and you should see a bunch of settings here but don't worry about that click on import agree and let it import now I already have it imported so I'm, I'm gonna skip that step but once it's done importing it should look like this okay now before we power it on you should go into your settings and tweak the amount of memory you have and the amount of CPUs on the virtual machine uh, you don't really need to be anything crazy because para is a pretty lightweight program a uh, lightweight operating system I'm sorry uh, but you can tweak it however you'd like it like I have eight gigs of RAM on mine and I have four processors running on it so it's just enough power it's pretty average and it'll get whatever I need accomplished okay uh, done so click on OK and then click start and then once this is running don't you don't have to press any keys or do anything just let it boot itself up and you will notice how the resolution is really small and I'll show you how to fix that as well real quick so while that's loading You'll notice you have this little tab up here with file, machine view, input, and all that stuff. So that's VirtualBox's settings. So if you click on view and click on scaled mode, you should see something like I have here. And then you'll notice that the uh, menu actually disappears. So to get that back, you have to press the right control key plus C. So right control C will bring the menu back. So once you have it on scale mode or full screen mode, however you however you want it, click on system inside a parrot, go to preferences, and click on hardware, and then displays. And then from here, you can change the resolution to however you want it, and then click apply and click close. And that's it guys, parrot should be up and running smoothly. So if you haven't already, please like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.